What's up, everybody? For the one attached here. Now, I know I am late to this scene. Relax, because I've been sick and I haven't been able to get this video out. But, finally able to get this video out. The newest updates to Pokemon Sun and Moon, we finally get to see our, like, more in depth on who those characters were in the first trailer that we talked about a couple weeks back, where we get to release our starters. We got the first trailer out. Now, <clears throat> we get to go more into the region of Pokemon. Check out what those characters were, and I was correct on every single one. And we get to go in-depth on our legendary, so let's go ahead and check out the latest trailer. Oh, goddamn, Pikachu again. Powerful legendary Pokemon, you know what it is. We've got the first one, Psychic Seal. I was wrong. He has the ability Full Metal. And I was wrong about the fact that he was a fire type. He is Seal and Psychic. But look at his abilities that he's gonna do. Look at this move, dude. Sun Seal Strike is his go-to ability. That looks like fire to me, son. So he does have some fire attributes into it. Lunala. Lunala. Psychic and Ghost. I was correct about the typings on this one. Look, it, it looked like a ghost type. And that is really cool to find a legendary Psychic Ghost and a legendary Psychic Seal. Which one's your favorite thus far? I'd have to go with the dog man himself, but Moon Geist Beam, I'm assuming is going to be a fairy type move, you never know. Welcome to the Alola region, we get to see a little bit of clips of gameplay footage of the characters moving around. We get to customize our goddamn characters, finally, that's a little sneak preview, our professor is Kukui, of course, I was right about that one, everybody thought he was someone else. Lily, Kukui's mysterious assistant, as well as Hao which is going to be our friend, a.k.a. rival dude man that we battle all the time. Rotom's our goddamn Pokedex now, son. Don't know what's going to be going on with Rotom here, but Rotom is going to be our brand new Pokedex and a w brand new way to look at Pokemon. Available November 18, 2016. What is your favorite, Pokemon Sun or Pokemon Moon? But next up, we're going to be looking into it deep into details, starting off with... Salgaleo. It is a sun Pokemon. The height is, oh, it's goddamn tall. 11 feet with a weighing in at five, just over 500 pounds. Type is, again, psychic and steel, but it does have that flary body flare. The fiery nastiness that's going to be coming out of his sunbeam ability. We get that ability of full metal body, and since ancient times, Salgaleo has been honored as the emissary of the sun. So, it does have some fiery nature to it. It is referred to with reference as the beast that devours the sun. Salgaleo's body holds a vast amount of energy, which is probably sun-type energy, and it shines with light whenever it's active. It has a flowing mane and a remarkable resemblance to the sun. Its signature move is Sun Steel Strike, which is that sun beam that we saw in the video, an attack that charges at an opponent, with the force of a meteor, disregarding the target's ability. Really nice, and I'm assuming it is a fire type. Could be a steel type, but we do not know yet. But it does look like a fiery move. Salgaleo's ability is Full Metal Body, a new ability that no previous Pokemon has ever had. With the Full Metal, metal Body ability, a Pokemon's stat will not be lowered by the effects of opponent's moves and or other abilities. Next up, we're going to look at Lunala. The category is a moon Pokemon, just over 13 feet, with the weight of 264 pounds and the type of Psychic and Ghost ability is Shadow Shield. Since ancient times, Lunala has been honored as the emissary of the moon. Again, sun and moon. It is referred to uh, in reference as the beast that calls the moon. Lunala is constantly absorbing light and converting it into energy. With its wings spread to absorb the surrounding light and glittering like a crescent moon, it resembles a beautiful night sky. Lunala's signature Moon Geist Beam attack releases an ominous beam of light that disregards the target's ability, similar to the other legendary type, and I'm assuming that could be a fairy type move, but do not get me mistaken. Lunala's ability of Shadow Shield is a new ability that no other Pokemon has ever had. And with this, it will take less damage from an attack that lands when the Pokemon has full HP. So that is really unique as well. 
Next up, we're going to look at the Alola region itself. This is going to be our new adventure, Pokemon Sun and Moon. It's going to take place on a tropical islands of the Alola region, kind of resembling Hawaii. The Alola region centers around four islands, rich in natural beauty and the artificial island. Many Pokemon that have never been seen before occupy these islands. So there, again, there is four islands, starting from the right to the left. It looks like it's larger and gets smaller and smaller, but each island has a rich flavor of nature, and of course there is going to be right in the dead center, as you can see, there's like a little building there, it is an artificial island, which means it has been built. <coughs> Next up, the people of Alola. The world of Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon is filled with many colorful people. In addition to fascinating Pokemon, meet some of the folks you will encounter as you travel through the Alola region. So now we get to create our own hero or heroine. You will choose to be a hero or heroine in Pokemon Sun and Moon. And you can name yourself whatever you'd like. The story begins right after the character has moved to the Alola region. No sooner have you arrived than your adventure begins to unfold. And you'll meet many new Pokemon and continue to grow and learn. You can choose your gender and how you look. So here's a quick little preview of the... Um, how we can customize the looks of our trainer. Next up, of course, Professor Kukui. Uh, professor Kukui is a younger professor in the Alola region's dependable Pokemon professor. He lives near your home and looks out for you. He's passionate about his research in the Pokemon moves and has sometimes taken direct hits from Pokemon when there was something to be learned from it. Sporting a white lab coat slung casually over his bare torso, he shows off his own unique style. We have Lily, who is the professor's mysterious girl, who is the professor's mysterious assistant as well. This young girl is about the same age as our character, and she's working as Professor Kukui's assistant for personal reasons. Hmm. Professor. You're not hitting it, are you? You're not hitting that, bro. I mean, she might be a little bit too young. You, you're a young professor, but I don't think she's over 18, so... You better be watching out. Unless the world of Pokemon is a little bit different than ours, you better be watching out, bro. She's not fond of making Pokemon fight in battles, but she loves reading and devours many books. Lily will play an important role in the story of Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. Next up, we've got our rival or our friend, Hou. Hou is a Pokemon-loving young boy with a big appetite. He's the same age as us, but when... You move to the Alola region, he makes friends with you right away. He's a real weakness for Malasada, a famous treat in the Alola region, and he is always in search of Malasada shops. He is a big-hearted boy who really loves Pokemon. Next up, we are going to be looking into brand new gameplay features. Meet the new Pokemon using the QR scanner. In Pokemon Sun and Moon, there is a QR scanner function that allows you to get more information about Pokemon when you scan a QR code pattern. With the QR scanner, you can scan a QR code with information about Pokemon that corresponds to that QR code. There's a QR code pattern in various places all around you, so try scanning them. Not sure how this is going to work exactly, but we might get QR codes in Pokemon TCG packs. Might be able to get them online, GameStop, local gaming stores, you name it. There's going to be QR code scanning. And these Pokemon will go directly to our Pokédex, whether we have found them in-game or not. And a real cool feature that everybody has been looking forward to is, last but not least in this video, was that Rotom Pokédex. The Pokédex is a convenient tool that records information about the Pokemon you see and catch during the adventure. In Sun and Moon, the character faces a special Pokédex from Professor Kukui to support you in our travels. It's known as the... Rotom Pokedex, and it's inhabited by a actual Rotom. So I'm not sure if we get to use this Pokemon or not, but I doubt it. A Pokemon with the power to reside in various electronic appliances. It does much more than record Pokemon info. It sparkles with its own personality. The Rotom Pokedex shows you your current location and your next destination. So it is more helpful in your journey on what you need to do. And it also gives you advice on where you need to go next based on your conversation you have with others. So it's basically like a questing adventure guide. That's really cool. has a questing adventure guide feel to it. going to show you what you need to do next, what you need to complete. So a great little cool feature to have in our Pokédex. I just want to say, 
Thank you very much for tuning in, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video. And leave a comment down below. Check out the description box. Stay tuned for some more For the Winatachi videos. For the Winatachi is out.